So, and welcome to Parsing John. Today we are in chapter 1, verse 49 in Latin. This is the rubric, everything that we're looking for as we go through this text. Let's go ahead and get started. Respondit ei Nathanael et ait radi, tu es filius dei, tu es rex Israel. And that's as far as we're going to go today. Our very first word, at the beginning of our sentence, respondo, respondere, responsi, third conjugation, I believe. It is going to be third person singular. Respond, it tells us that this is the present tense. And it is active, of course, and indicative. Meaning what it looks like. Responds, a is what we've seen before. Actually, what we can do here, just like what we did with the Greek, is we pull in previous version of previous texts. The very last verse that we were in had this, this same verb. And then it's responded, third person singular. We were uncertain whether it was perfect or present, active, indicative. And Jesus was a subject. And then we have a right here, which is in the exact same form. This is, where did I write it? Oh, right there. It's a dative singular masculine as an indirect object. So we don't really need to parse any of these because we already have that written down elsewhere. Two him. It's probably going to be Jesus, since Jesus was the previous one speaking. Now I've got Nathaniel here as our indeclinable subject. And is a conjunction. I comes from Io. This IT is third person, singular. And this verb could be either perfect or present. It's very irregular one, hard to tell. We'd have to take a look at the Greek to know what this verb should be. Since this is present, this should probably also be present. But I'm going to write them both. Present or perfect, active, indicative. Says, said, which is not spelled with a Q. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Direct discourse. Rabi tu s tu, since we have that there, that indicates to us that rabi should probably be the vocative. It's not a native Greek, well, Latin word, so it's not going to decline normally. I believe it is spelled that way. Tu is, of course, a nominative singular. Tu, tui tebitete. S is from sum s fui, sum s est, so it's second person singular present tense, active and indicative. R, and then you get filius, U-S right there, as a predicate, nominative, singular, masculine, son. Dei, Dei could be genitive, singular, it could be vocative, plural, nominative, plural, those are three options there. We've already got a vocative, and it's singular, and two is singular, so having Dei as a vocative doesn't make any sense, nominative, plural doesn't make any sense, it's a verb, singular right there, so genitive is our only option masculine, of God. Two is going to be the same form here, so I'm just going to pull that over. S is also the same form, so I'm also just going to pull that over. U, R, and then Rex, Rex Regis. This is nominative, singular, masculine, third declension. And it is a predicate, just like Phileas was, king. And then we have Israel. Israel is not a native Latin word, so it is not going to decline at all. And we have no demonstrative or anything like that to tell us what form it is, so we just have to guess based on context. We've got, you are son of God, you are king. So another possessive here would make sense. Since Dei is possessive, Israel is probably also possessive. So I'm going to put genitive there with a question mark. Of... Another way to figure this out would be to try various different functions and see which one makes most sense. You are King Israel, as, so, uh, as another predicate. That doesn't make much sense. Name of the king, okay. Uh, we can do indirect object. You are King to Israel. So that would be reference. So technically, yeah, that, that does work. Uh, we could do uh, locative. You are King at Israel. You are King from Israel. Your king toward Israel. From, maybe, at, not really. Toward, no. 
genitive, honestly, or the dative make the most sense as far as I can tell. And there we go, that's verse 49. Let's take a look at it in its own context. Nathaniel responds to him. Sorry, to is necessary. <laughs> and says, or said, Rabbi, you are son of God, you are king of Israel. So far, so good. Let's take a look at it from its greater context. In verse 43, this is going to take a while. Till tomorrow, he wished to go out into Galilee. And he found or finds Philip and says to him, Jesus says to him, follow me. However, Philip was from Bethsaida, city of Andrew and Peter. Philip finds or found Nathanael and says to him, what Moses wrote in law and what prophets wrote, we find or we found. Jesus, son of Joseph from Nazareth. And Nathanael said to him, is anything able to? from Nazareth to be good. Philip says to him, Come and see. Jesus saw Nathanael coming to his own self and says about him, Look, truly Israelite, in whom is not deceit. Nathanael says to him, Whence did you know me? Jesus responds and said to him, Before Philip called you, when you were under fig tree, I saw you. Nathanael responds to him and says, or said, Rabbi, you are son of God, you are king of Israel. And there we go. I believe, since you got responded right there, same as that one, this is going to end the direct quote. And that's as far as we need to go today. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope taking a look at this text has been helpful for you. And sorry that I did not yet look up proper form of responded to tell whether or not it's present or perfect. I will try to do that properly in the beginning of next video with verse 50, since it's right there again. Thank you very much for joining me. Have a good day. Wale.